We're going to start our first application today, and what better way to start off with than Hello World? Let's get started. So you're going to want to fire up Xcode. Since it's only going to be one screen, we'll, let's start with a single view application. We'll come in here. You'll see different settings. Product name. Let's go with Hello World. Keep it simple. Team, we can forget that for now. Organization name, you can put whatever you want if you're part of an organization. The organization identifier can be your website backwards or just com.organizationname.project autofills. Let's go with Swift because we're not going to Objective-C and we'll keep devices at universal. I'll go into different devices later on in another tutorial. That's for a later date. Pick a file folder that you want to save it in and hit create. Looks like it already exists for me, so I'm going to write over it. All right, so when you jump right in, you're going to see all these bunch of settings. We're not going to go through these today. I'm going to go through those later with you. We're going to jump right into the Hello World application. The two files that you're going to care about for this application are view controller and main.storyboard. Now, main.storyboard, this is where you're going to have all your UI elements, everything that the user sees on the screen. And view controller is where you're going to have all of your logic behind those UI elements. Now, inside main.storyboard, we're going to look here in the identity inspector. And we're going to realize that the class behind this view controller is linked to view controller. So if I click this little arrow right here, you'll see it brings me right over to the code. So you know that this view controller is linked to view controller. Now, in this application is very simple. What we're going to do is we're going to put a button on the screen and that button is going to change the background color and the label that we're going to throw on the screen as well to say hello world. Simple, right? So let's get started. A mode that I like to use on Xcode is right here is called assistant editor. When you click on it, it splits the screen and puts your UI on the left and your logic on the right. Now let's get started and go down here. You can filter your UI elements down here. If I start typing button, you'll see button. There's to tons of different types of buttons. So we'll grab the first one, which is a UI button. We'll throw it on the screen. We know we need a label, so let's go and type in label and we'll throw a label on the screen. We'll throw it right there. Okay, now we're going to want to set up IB actions for the button and IB outlets for the label. You're going to want to control and drag over to your viewcontroller.swift file. It'll open up this little helper and you're going to want to make a connection, which is an action you want to name it. So let's name it button pressed for now. We'll set it as a UI button as the type. Touch up inside, you want to leave that the way it is and hit connect. This will make boilerplate code for you so you don't have to worry about writing it yourself. We'll leave that there for now. Label, we're going to want to take control, drag over. You want to name this, let's name this hello world label. It's an outlet this time. An outlet I will explain to you in a second. And, a, and it's a type of UI label, and we're going to make it a strong storage type. We'll get through strong and weak storage types at a later video when we talk about retain cycles. We're going to hit connect. So now we have this IB outlet here. What we're going to do is we're going to want to get rid of this boilerplate code. It's preference. I get rid of it, but you can leave it as if you want to. All right, now what we're going to do is on button press, we want to change the background color to, let's say, green. So on a, on a view controller is a view itself. So in the view, there's a property called background color. In here, you're going to want to go UI color dot green. This will go, hey, on button press, take the view, change the background color to green. Simple, right? Then you're going to want to take your hello world label and you're going to want to go the text property on it, which will get into lots of properties for different objects in a later video. And you're going to want to say, Hello world. Now you're just going to go up and hit the run button and it's going to fire up the simulator. I like to go up to window, go to scale and scale it down to about 75% just so it fits within my screen. If you have an external monitor, you'll probably just be in luck and it'll probably fit the screen perfectly fine. Sometimes the simulator takes a little while to launch up, so we're going to be waiting. So let's press the button. Awesome, right? But did you notice the label isn't showing the full width? Let's go back and talk about how we can make it expand to the width of the screen. We'll stop our program. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to say we want to keep the label left and right. We want it to be on the edge to edge of the screen. And we want it to be 100, 113 points from the top of the view controller. By doing that, and going into your attribute inspector and going to center the alignment of the text, 
you'll see now that now the label expands to the, to the far left of the screen, to the far right of the screen. And if you run your program, Now you notice that the button is in center to the hello world. Let's do that quickly. We'll go over to our button, we'll go down to our alignment constraints, and we'll set it horizontally in the container, to be horizontally into the container. Awesome, but you notice this little red around it. That means the constraints are not fully set up. Let's have the button be 164 pixels from the label. Awesome. Let's run it again. Awesome, the button is now centered. Well, that's it for today, guys. So what we learned today, we learned how to make a new project. We learned how to connect IB outlets to their UI elements. We learned how to connect IB actions to our UI elements. I hope that this tutorial was useful and there'll be tons more on the way. If you like my content, please subscribe and give me suggestions on what you would like to see. Have a great day.